I'm the blind rhino. <laughs> Last season on Tex Montana, we'll survive. I took you on a tour of my homestead, where I live in a teepee. Introduce you to my kangaroo buddy Jasper and my emu friend Goldie Hawn. I showed you my brand new Pride and Joy pickup truck. Smallest one I got. I got up close and personal with an eight legged spider. And then I showed you the biggest, weirdest worm in the world. I also ate a whole bunch of the wrong mushrooms to show you what happened. This happens. That. I took a relaxing dip in Alligator Lake. Found myself in an alligator death match. Then I tracked down the last herd of wild swamp horses. Josh Lucas, Christopher Lloyd, and Goldie Hawn. They're my friends. Beauty and nature. So join me on an all new set of adventures on an all new season of Tex Montana Will Survive. Hello? Yeah. No, I'm recording it. I'm, I'm recording a fucking voiceover. Cancel? What the fuck are you talking about, cancel? I'll oh, suck my dick! You can't cancel me! I'll cancel you! No! Oh, eat a crab's asshole, you piece of shit! Survive! Howdy, I'm Tex Montana, and what you're about to see is a very special edition of Tex Montana Will Survive. Now, if you follow the tabloids or if you're a regular viewer of my show, you might have heard about the recent kerfuffle that erupted when some Willy Wonka loving nobody decided to post some YouTube videos of me and my lady friend coming out of Makimoto in New York City after having had a lovely sushi dinner when supposedly I was supposed to be surviving in the Adirondacks sleeping in a moose carcass or whatever people think it is I do. That's not what I do. That is not my M.O. What I do, and my true fans know this, is I demonstrate survival techniques. Okay? I'm here to teach you how to survive. I don't have to do all of the survival myself. I don't need to sleep in the snow to teach you how to properly sleep in the snow. But for some reason, there is a contingent of the population out there that believes that that is what I was proclaiming I was doing. Which is just ridiculous. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. And it has forced me to take upon a project to clear my name, to right the ship of my reputation. So what you're about to see is an adventure the likes that no human being has ever attempted. I'm going to spend 30 whole days out in the wild, completely alone. No camera crew, no support team, no rescue mission. Just me, my trusty knife, and this pack back here full of cameras and batteries so I can record the adventure for you to enjoy. 
And I hope you'll join me. And I hope you'll learn all the things you thought you needed to know. It, you know, it's just so fucking frustrating. Somebody's wasting their time. I mean, who's got the time to be sitting around fucking filming people with their phones? Hey, aren't you supposed to be out in the mountains somewhere? No. Do you know my schedule? Do you have my calendar in your Blackberry? I don't think you do. Aren't you supposed to be sucking a dick somewhere, you piece of shit? No, obviously we ain't gonna use this. I'm just venting right now. God damn. All right, I'm gonna try to do something for real, real quick. So the network, they said, Tex, you cannot do this. Don't do it. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. And I said, bullshit. I guess we can't use that either. Amanda, just cut all around and make this, make it work. I have climbed to the summit of Mount Everest in a simulator that I developed with Ubisoft in Montreal. Everything I do is dangerous. Every day I wake up and I put myself in situations that are dangerous to show you how you can survive those very same situations. So this is nothing. This is a walk in the cake. Piece of the park. So join me, would you? On an adventure the likes have never been seen before or ever again or since the dawn of time. And you will be changed, forever changed, by what you learn, by what I am able to show you. How to eat a stick, how to carve a stick, how to throw a stick, anything you want to know about sticks, you're going to see it right now. All kinds of other stuff too. So stick around. It's going to be insightful. It's going to be delightful. It's going to be frightful. It's going to be survival. It's going to be the most miserable fucking show I ever made. Ugh. Ugh. Where's the fucking off button? God damn it. Fucking thing is. I didn't even take a fucking. This ain't the camera I used last time. I know it's different. I fucking said it was the same thing. See this little dude out here? That's a GPS tracking device. Now it was insisted by the network and the insurance company that I bring it along so they could track me at all times and know where I was in case something went wrong they can come in and rescue me. This is a big fucking rock. Tex Montana just went off the fucking grid. Now when you're looking at a, a beautiful felled tree like this, there's all kinds of goodies and magic you can find in here. I mean, the roots of a tree is where nature gives birth to all kinds of babies of the forest. Sometimes you can find snakes, you can find grubs. So what you want to do, if you come across something like this, is to just kind of willy-nilly stick your hand in there and see if you can find what sometimes might be like a, you can get a worm or maybe like a pupa of some kind of like thing. And most pupas you can eat. Most people don't know that too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Went in my mouth. Went in my mouth. All right, maybe we could start, Amanda, start here. Okay, start, start not here, when I say here, but start when I start doing something. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna display it for you. <laughs> Shit, I can't even do it like that. I was like, Bryce is right, look, look at this car, a brand new car. A fallen oak. God's dead angel. I found a lit cigarette. 
<laughs> Nature provides. Now I put that there. <laughs> Now you see that? That's the kind of thing that gets you killed in the woods. Trying to climb up something and you think you got a good handle on it and then the handle comes off in your hand and you got a handle in your hand. It's not going to help you live. Shit! Amanda, you cut that. You cut that. Tex never loses his footing. You know the list. Tex never loses his footings on the list. People always give me shit about wearing cowboy boots. Cowboy boots aren't safe in the woods. Yeah, well, fuck you. They were safe for my daddy and his daddy before him. Safe for John Wayne. All right, let me try that again. Now here I am, the top of a fallen tree. Looky here. Looky what I found. Every time you think that you are paving a new path for humanity, that you are going off the map, like fucking Magellan or Neil Armstrong. You find somebody's been there before you, and not only were they there before you, they littered, number one, and number two, they had a fucking party and they didn't even invite you. I mean, my God, it's like high school all over again. No one ever wanted to invite me to the party. Come out in the woods. Let's go out to the woods after the football game. Yeah, I'll meet you down there. Woohoo! Let's go have a little campfire session and we'll all suck each other's nuts and we'll drink beer and woohoo, it'd be great. Not for Tex. It's not great for Tex. I could have made the football squad. Instead, I was too focused on conservation and, and animal husbandry. And now, I don't know, maybe I'm filled with regret. I could probably make something out of these. Now pretend that stick, if it was a chipmunk, probably would have hurt it a little bit and probably maybe would have stunned it and it would be like, I could go over and eat it. Maybe, maybe I could tame it, teach it to go get me nuts. See, that's the thing. Sometimes you don't want to kill everything you find because you can use them, use them for their own natural abilities. Like say, if I was to catch a, I don't know, a woodpecker, then I could put the woodpecker's feet on a string and then you let it fly up and it goes to the tree and gets a worm and you just reel it back in almost like a cut. You take the worm from the bird. Now you can eat maybe 10, 12 worms in a month that that bird got you instead of just eating the bird. The bird feeds you one day. If you let the bird bring the food to you, then you eat all the time. So I just got to catch a woodpecker or something. <laughs> I'm making another spear. Hello? I'm like 99% sure there's a fucking werewolf out here. That, my friends, is what a shit waterfall looks like. 
Fuck you. Fuck me, it's cold. Suck my fucking asshole, it's cold. Suck my asshole. Suck my fucking asshole. Put your mouth on my asshole and suck on my asshole. It's fucking cold. Oh my god, my fucking feet are frozen. Suck my asshole. Suck all the shit from my asshole. <whistles> suck it. Establishing shot. Suck my asshole. Suck my fucking asshole. Hey, you know what you should do, camera? Suck my fucking asshole. I don't want to make this show no more. That's it. I'm not getting no more fucking establishing shots. That better have been good enough. I'm not climbing fucking mountains twice to get a fucking shot. See here, I built a pretty classic fire pit with stones all around it to keep the warmth in once it gets going. And actually, when you get the fire going, you can take these stones and move them in real close to the fire. And then when you go to sleep in your shelter, you can line your bed space with hot rocks and that will keep the warmth in all night. But the first thing you need to do is get a fire going. So I'm using a simple, classic spindle fire technique. Uh, and you just wanna get a flat piece of wood and you just basically drill down into it, creating friction, which in turn will create fire. Now it takes a little while. And as you can see, I've been going for a while already. This aboriginal shit ain't working, so I'm gonna give it a little help. Obviously, we're gonna cut around this. Let's see. Jesus. All right, get ready. Oh, oh, I got it, look at that. Oh. Life. Prometheus gave gift of fire to man, and I give the knowledge of fire to you. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Well, <laughs> silly me. I built this whole shelter and I showed you how to do it and I uh, didn't push record <laughs> on the stupid camera. That's uh, one of the downfalls of not having your crew with you. But, you know, I guess I can explain it real quick. Is you just want to find a couple of sturdy trees and then just get a bunch of sticks and kind of stack them all around it and thread them all together until you've got your basic A-frame or Cut that out, Amanda. Now from the outside of the shelter, you can really appreciate the craftsmanship, the structural integrity. Now, I fancy myself quite the shelter builder. I mean, I'd say probably the best shelter I ever built was in Papua New Guinea. This is probably a close second. Fuck! Ah! 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 Amanda, Amanda, don't you dare. You ain't never going to believe this. I went fishing a couple of hours, and I come back, and this is what I find. My shelter that I built with my own two hands, strong and sturdy as a Texas Panhandle Baptist church, it's destroyed, absolutely decimated. 
And if I use my skills of observation, it is undeniably the work of an American black bear. Well, I'm gonna go find that bear and I'm gonna fucking eat it. that bear down to its den and I lost my way I don't know how long I was gone easy over a month that's the bad news good news is I found the camera I got a story to tell you. Now, if there's one thing we learned throughout human history, one of the basic tenets of survival is to rebuild after a tragedy. And as you can see, I've nearly got my shelter complete. I just gotta add the cross beam. No, oh, God damn it! Never underestimate the therapeutic power of music when you're in a survival situation. That's why I always bring my congas. Well, I built myself another shelter. I had to move from my first camp because that bear knows where I am now. She's tracking me. I can feel her presence all around like a ghost haunting the woods. When I tracked that bear back to her den, I found a baby cub sleeping. And I killed it. I killed it. The blood spilled out of it about six or seven feet in diameter of blood. The snow was stained with red death. I kept one of that baby bear's bones. I think it's the ulna of the baby bear. Like, like if it was on all fours, it's like this part. I tell you, as bad as I feel about killing that baby bear, if there was another baby bear right here, just asleep, curled up like a house cat. I'd club it to death with its own brother's bone, just Because <laughs> you gotta get through the skull. The skull of the baby bear is real tough. I mean, I can imagine there's not a real easy way to kill a bear with another bear's bone other than to just bludgeon it to death. I can't believe I didn't get any of this on camera. My God! All the things I've had to do. This one's pretty sturdy. See, I think I got it. I got it bear-proofed this time. Get away, bear! Get away from me! 
You don't want none of this. I am a thinking human being. You are a dumb animal. I will kill you like I have killed your child. Baby bare bones, baby bare bones, baby bare bones, baby bare bones. I ate a bear cub, I took its skeleton and I made things out of its bones. I made things out of its bones. Boom! Bare bones! I can't fucking believe what I went through for 30 some odd days and none of it was on camera. I mean, I'm talking about Emmy and Golden Globe award winning television. I came upon a den of four or 500 garter snakes all bedded down in the ground for the winter and I slept inside the writhing mass of snakes for warmth. I smell like garter snake musk. I don't know if you've ever been sprayed by a garter snake, but it almost smells like if a skunk took a shit on a dead skunk. I mean, that's how they, that's what they do to trout upon trout upon trout swam into my very hands. I lost my sunglasses for two days. The sun was blinding off the snow. I planted and tended to a garden. Things were just about to sprout when I had to get on the move again. I was able to carve a dugout canoe from a felled log and I killed an owl with a rock. Whoo, whoo, dead. Gave away its position. One of the things you should never do in the wild. Amanda. Amanda, I know you're upset at me cause I put my finger in you at the holiday party. Amanda, what we have is special, you're my editor. You cut out all the stupid shit I do or you lose your job. You lose your fucking job. I've told you once, I've told you twice. If you show me being an idiot, you lose your job. You're gonna lose your fucking job. And then where will you be with your stupid degree? Nowhere, not where, anywhere around me. You're gonna lose your job. Now I'm serious. Now I know there's a lot of shit that's happening in this that's beyond my control that's made me look foolish. So just please don't do it. I mean, you know it. Don't show my fucking bald spot. You see it? If anyone else sees it, you're done. Tex Montana's losing his hair, you're losing your job. Now that's not to say that I don't love you. I hope you know I care deeply about you. And I think when I get back, maybe things have changed. I mean, this being out here like this changes a man. Maybe I shouldn't have brought so many instruments and brought more food. It's my lucky bandana. It's got my spirit animal, the wolf. And I've had it since I was 14 years old and every adventure I've gone on, I've used it in one form or another. Tourniquet your leg. Usually I just plant it like a flag at the top of my shelter. Oh, God damn it! Guess what happened? Mama bear strikes again. That bear is hunting me. I probably shouldn't have left her baby's bones around my camp. That's on me. That's on me. A mother bear and her child have a connection kinship even in death she will stalk the specter of her lost cub searching for every single bone and she will gather the bones and bring them back to the cave and mourn for the entire winter so looks like it's time to move on maybe build another shelter I think I saw that bear where she at I just saw her she is hunting me. 
two can play at that game, Mama Bear. Where you at? Tell yourself, Bear. I know you're out there. Come on. That, nope, that's a stump. This bear is not gonna let me get off this mountain alive. I've only got one option. I gotta kill it with a spear or something. I don't know where she is, but she's out there. Now I figured on this one I'd just do more of like a traditional lean to. I know. I know, Amanda. I can hear you right now. I told you I quit smoking. I'm a liar. I'm working on it. Quitting lying, and quitting smoking, both. I only brought four packs though, so I am cutting down. I feel like this is a cool shot. So even though I'm smoking, they probably won't let you put on TV. Just see if you can work it in there somehow. <laughs> Exhaling through the harmonica. Now that's classic Tex Montana. time in the wild in the winter is the worst fucking time every sound is a bear every other sound is a ghost every third sound is a ghost bear the ghost of that baby bear that I ate I got I got a baby bear ghost in this corner haunting me. I got a mama bear, not ghost, hunting me. I got a hunting and a haunting coming at me from both sides in the night. How am I supposed to get any sleep? I'm freezing my dick off. I get most of my sleep in the day. At night, I just cry. I cry all night long. It is horrifying out here. I, I try to imagine what it's like to be like a deer or a bird, or a squirrel, or a chipmunk, or a raccoon, or a bear. They all sleep in the cold, dark night. They just go to sleep. Oh, it's time to go to sleep in the snow, in the leaves, in the cold. They, I'll tell you why they can probably sleep easy, because they don't know what ghosts are. Ignorance is bliss. That's a damn true statement. If you don't know what a ghost is, you have no idea how terrifying a ghost can be. Testing, testing, one, two. I find a hole. Holes in trees and rocks are nature's goodie bags. You can always find something in a hole. What you wanna do just kind of willy-nilly stick your hand down in there. Let's see what you can find. Sometimes there's little animals asleep in there and you can just pull out a whole animal, a chipmunk or something. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, my fucking hand is stuck. Oh, oh there's a way to stick your hand in holes. Never stick your hand in a hole. Humans need water. So most times they build their villages and their cities on the banks of rivers. So if you find something like this, you follow it. Always follow the water. The water finds people. I gotta take a shit. I'm a head down. 
Amanda! <laughs> There's something about this plant here that should be a warning. Number one, it's covered in thorns. And anything covered in thorns is trying to keep predators away. Number two, it's the color. They are bright cherry red. Now what they call these are the devil's tic tacs. They call these nipple tomatoes, poisonous pomegranate seeds, ricin red hots. Ricin for the poison, red hots for the candy. I don't know what they call these. The devil's corn, Mexican death beans, fire beans, puke beans, demon beans. They call these raccoon suicide pills, grandma sleeping pills, diarrhea cherries, beaver drugs. They call these Scarlett Johansons because they're red hot and dangerous. Now, all that being said, I'm pretty positive that you can eat these. So I'm gonna have some later. Get me some more. La -de 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 -de. On Frozen Pond. No, hold on, let me do it again. This pond is teeming with fish right now. They think we don't know they're there because they're underneath the water. If there are turtles in there, they're dead. Shit. Don't worry, I got plenty of rocks. This looks like a megalodon tooth. I'm a shark from the prehistoric times. Can you imagine a shark that big with teeth like that? Shot put! Now we're getting somewhere. I have seriously underestimated the density of the ice. Oh! <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Don't do this at home. You want to make sure your branch is sturdy so you can test the ice. It 100% will not support my weight. Okay. It's night time again. Night time again. Night time again. It's night time again. Can you make it through another night, Tex? It's night time again. It's night time again. Can you sing through the whole night so you don't have to hear the sounds of the leaves crunching and the sticks breaking of the bears coming to eat you? La 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 la. La 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 it's night time. It's full on fucking winter now.
I'll never consider them, but I can find any medicine in my own facility cap. When when it comes to the night, and the night is the scariest thing you've ever seen, and it As if you can't have a nimbus. Living in this cottage of madness, you said, we can't know what you want to say. Everything you've ever done, all I'm about to say, we try to try to get it, try to get through a single other night. Why didn't I think of this before? This has everything I need to know to get out of the wild. How do I know that? Because I wrote it. This book don't make no fucking sense. I feel like someone just took an old book from like the 30s and just stuck it between the covers with my face on it. I mean, this is ridiculous. The greatest blunders, like the thickest ropes, are often compounded of a multitude of strands. That don't make no fucking sense. What is this? It's this fucking old timey, old timey book. Where's the picture of me killing a turtle with a, with a hammer? It's just diagrams with old drawings from the 50s. Who wrote this book? Place your feet next to your buddy's stomach. What? I don't know if it's working. What's a bean hole? A bean hole? I'm going to have to eat the book to live. A signal tower. I'm going to make a 25 foot signal tower like I got time for that shit. Oh, well, why didn't I think of that before? I'll just build a whole gigantic fucking signal tower. And maybe after I'm done doing that, I'll just build a home with heat and running water. An entire, literally six month construction job. I mean, what kind, what, 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 what is this? This was my last hope. The noose will tighten around the bird's feet capturing it. If the weight is too heavy, it will cut the bird's feet off, allowing it to escape. I ain't never built a snare where if it cuts the animal's feet off, you did it wrong. Tarantulas are large, hairy spiders. What is this, a fucking children's book? No shit. Amanda, find out whoever ghost wrote my book, get him on the phone, and fire him. Bats! Despite the legends, bats are a relatively small hazard to the survivor. What? I got I got attacked by all the bats in Mexico one time. All at once. I feel like they knew I was coming. Plantains, there ain't no plantains around here. What? Insect bites. What? Be calm when you encounter serpents. What? Yeah, right. What? Oh, then it lists all the snakes. Like I got time to read snake names. Dangerous lizards, woo! Centipedes and millipedes. 
There are several fish you should not handle, touch, or contact that are identified below. The first one, shark piranha. 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 Is that the same fish I'm thinking of? Ooh, now this is actually about page 3015 might be the first useful thing in the book, the keep warm function. That's something I could use right now. This coffee maker includes an adjustable key. What? This coffee maker. What? This coffee maker. It says coffee maker. That is not a typo. What? This coffee maker includes an adjustable keep warm plate. To control coffee temperature after brewing. What is going on right now? Now, is this like how you make coffee in the wild? What? No? Oh my God. If you think I'm out of my mind, this is my book. And this is instructions on how to work a coffee maker. What? what? <gasps> that mama bear's coming for me. She's coming for me. She knows, she knows I don't know how to deal with the night time. Her eyes are attuned to the darkness. My eyes are stupid human eyes. I knew I should have let that Indian doctor implant my eyes with cat eyes. And my therapist asked me, Tex, why are you so afraid of the dark? And I said, it's because when I was seven years old, my daddy said, you know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? And I said, yes. And he said, well, they're for real, and they will kill you, and they will eat you. They will put you in a pot, and they will put all of their martial arts weapons down and eat a stew made from your body. Okay, now I think I'm walking in circles because I've done seen that tree before. That tree has a big old rotten hole in it that looks like a pussy. Like a dirty, rotten pussy. Wait, there's another pussy over there. All these trees got pussies on them? There's another one. Pussy tree. Pussy tree. That's like a fat, big old fat pussy on the tree right there. God, how did I never notice all the tree pussies before? Huh. Well, as you can see, it is snowing, and it has been snowing for about nine fucking hours straight. And I have no idea where I'm going to sleep tonight. Probably in snow. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to eat tonight, but I bet it's going to have a snow base to it. Probably some snow bouillons into a snow stew, and I'll just fucking eat snow and drink snow and sleep in snow. I fucking hate the snow. Come on now. Snow. Tex Montana, you going to sleep outside in the snow? Give me a break. How are you ever going to do that? I know what you're thinking at home, viewer, on your comfy fucking couch. Look at Tex Montana. Look how pretty it is. He's so lucky to be out in the snow, in the middle of the woods. Fuck you. Fuck you. How dare you watch this television show. You get up and you come out here and you get me. You, someone find me. You should be ashamed. 
ashamed that you're watching me out here. My toes are black. My toes are black. And I am not Forrest Whitaker. My toes are not naturally black. No, I didn't kill that baby bear. I found it dead already. Why would I lie about something like that? It's still a perfectly acceptable survival tool to use meat that you find. You don't have to kill it. It doesn't make you any better. I hope my television show bankrupts the network. And because the network is bankrupt, the newspaper industry completely collapses. And because there are no more newspapers, there's no more news, and no one knows what's going on, and the entire industrial complex of the United States falls to its knees, and everyone is killing everyone and taking all of their vegetables and their money, and the money don't mean nothing no more, and people have like one car and then suddenly all the cars get stolen by people with guns and then they're raping all everyone's dogs are getting raped and then it's just total anarchy and then it's back to the middle ages for america all because my show failed it was like a chain reaction fuck the world i hope everyone dies <laughs> is the last of the baby bear meat. Oh. Oh. Roast. Roast succulent flesh. Oh. 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 Sweet, sweet protein. Tender as the day is long. I am this close to considering cooking my own hand and eating it. Luckily, I don't have to do that just yet. Can you see that? Delicious. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Baby bears, baby bears, if any of y'all wants to get killed so I can eat you, come on down. Oh, there we go. Always try to travel with fire if you got it going. That way you can move it from place to place. I have been accused of being a pathological liar my whole life, as long as I can remember. And I guess I'm starting to see that maybe there is some merit to that accusation. I mean, I changed my IMDB page to say I was a creative consultant on Sci-Fi Channel's Ice Spiders, and no one ever contradicted it. One guy called me, I think he was the creative consultant, and I said, really, you wanna to go to war over this? And he backed down. My show is one big lie. I have never one time in eight seasons started a fire with the traditional woodland method of fire starting. I always fake it. You know how hard it is to start a fire with two sticks? Sure, it can be done, but why would you do it if you have lighters and matches? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I had a college student explain to me what a bow and arrow was. I didn't know they were separate things, a bow and an arrow. I thought the arrow was a bow and arrow. Episode 212. Survival on the African Plains, I shot on a green screen at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I made an unpaid intern dive down to the bottom of a frigid pond and hold his breath and put a six pound bass on a hook for me. He got hypothermia and I told him to shut up. I said, shut up. You are doing a good thing here. My name isn't even Tex Montana. There you go. There's a fucking bombshell for you. It's Austin Billings. Austin, a city in Texas. Billings, a city in Montana. Tex Montana. I thought it sounded like a good name for an adventure host. I don't know if that's necessarily wrong. Brad Pitt's name ain't Brad Pitt. Hey, what's your name? Brad Pitt. Tex Montana. Same thing. I look as good as him. Austin Billings is a pretty good name for an adventure host. I'm Austin Billings. Actually, I don't even know why I even fucking changed it. Amanda, don't you dare. Don't you dare. This confession is free. And put that in your pocket and you can take it out at night. A lot of times when you're in the wilds, you find that you need some kind of rope or string to do any number of things. Fish with, bind the legs of a boar. And this is something that everybody should have in their survival kit. It's a bracelet that when unwound has 10 15, 20 feet of rope that you can use for all kinds of survival tricks. Let me show you here. I can just get it unwound. It's 
reminds me of when I used to French braid my sister's hair. She had tuberculosis. And there you have it. Well, I realized I didn't quite need to use that rope just yet, so I fashioned it into a much uglier bracelet than it started as. I have learned many things from the natural world in my time, and one of those things that I have put into practice in recent days is the strategy of the, of the horse for sleeping standing up. I sleep standing up so that I can run at any given moment. My five desert island discs, jewel pieces of you. Amanda has been my editor and confidant over eight seasons of my television show. I trust her implicitly because she knows that if she does not cut around all of the moments that make me look like a fool, she is fucking fired. She is out of a fucking job. And I think that is a very productive way to handle your employees. And it has worked thus far. Amanda is also my frequent nighttime liaison. And we do things that you cannot put on my television program. Butt pleasures, lots of licking of all the parts of the body, things that she is embarrassed to talk about because I am her boss. She knows exactly how I want to be portrayed on television. She also knows how to make me come in four minutes using three fingers, her mouth, and one of her feet. It is a technique that I taught her. I drew her a picture of it and I said, do this. No, put your hand like this. That foot, yep, yeah, that foot up. Now your mouth. It's like playing a very complicated Indian instrument. That's how she plays me. And she knows if she doesn't do that, she's fired. I really don't want to believe it, but I get a sneaking suspicion that Amanda might be behind the YouTube videos that have forced me into this death mission to protect my reputation. And I swear to God, Amanda, if I find out it was you, I will kill you with a gun. I will fucking kill you. I swear to God, I will fucking come to your house, your brownstone in fucking Manhattan. I will knock on the door. You will think that I am there for that foot job technique and I will blow your fucking head off your neck. I will shoot you to death. I will spend the rest of my life in prison. It's no worse than out here. It will be worth it for you to be dead if I find out that you have done this to me. Now, if it's not you, I apologize for threatening your life. I would never hurt you. Amanda. I love you. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. That's a mean joke. I'm sorry. I think I may be having a minor stroke or what is happening 
is my eye is trying to tell me something using Morse code. I've almost been able to pick out a pattern. It's like short, 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 long, long, short, 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 long, short, short. My eye does not know that I do not know Morse code. Tex Montana, gun ninja. Ha! Bang, bang, bang. Karate ninja. Evil don't stand a chance coming this fall. What's in the box? Hey, what's in the box? You shut your fucking mouth. Oh, what's in the box? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, is it Gwyneth Paltrow's head in the box? I've heard people shooting themselves in the head like this and they survive. And this way is better than the temple. But even still, a bullet could ricochet off a tooth and go right out the side of your head. This tends to be the best way to ensure death. Because it's most likely going to go right through the soft tissue of the palate and into the brain. Just so you know. The more you know. <laughs> Good television right here if I just fucking pull this trigger right now. I'll just do it later. Hey, we're going to Topless Pickers. Do you want to come? Sure. Show us your dick. Wait, yeah. You mean this dick? <laughs> I am well and truly lost. I'm lost. I'm, I'm, Now, I was told before I came out here that there's a particular breed of night snow turtle that comes around in these kind of weeds at night, and you can pop their shell off and just eat them like a popcorn bucket. So I'm trying to find this particular night turtle, because if I keep my mind on something, then I won't freak out about how dark and scary it is out here. I think this might be a plant. It might be a claw of some kind of creature and I don't want you to just, I just cannot, can I plead, can I plead for my life, please, creature of the night, don't strike me down. Hey, can you, can you call my, can you call my friends and tell them to come get me? Can you even see me? Is anybody even there? Is anybody even there? I feel like I'm on Jupiter right now.
Before I came out here, one of the locals, he taught me a real fancy trick. When you're walking around, you notice this plant over here. It just looks like an innocuous snow plant. But note the Y shape. The Y shape. This is what's known as the yuhu shrub. And the root bulb of this plant is a delicacy. And it holds all sorts of hydration and vitamin D. So what you want to do is just dig around down in there and see if you can't uproot. Look at that. Oh, right there. That's a delicious yoo-hoo. Oh, 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 what a treat. What a special, special treat. Ah, uh, ah, Mmm, mmm, mmm. The yuhu shrub. And now you can plant this and another one will grow. I found the GPS device. Now, baby, now, baby, 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 now. Baby, they be able to play with now. Maybe, baby, they be able to now. Baby, they be able to play with now. Maybe with the satellites and the, and the maybe they be able to play with the family now. Now, maybe they be able to play with the family now. Maybe they maybe they be able to play with the family now. Maybe they be able to play with the they will be able to able to able to find me now. Well, I saw some footprints coming out of over there, little bitty footprints, so I saw some there, little bit footprints. So I I remember what a drunk seventeen year old Cherokee boy named Mitchell told me how to make a drop trap. It was just a simple drop trap like this, and then you want to, and then if you want, and then if you you put it like a thing like this here, and then. And then another one that's just like this. And then if you, and then if another, and then if another, and then if another, and then the one that comes and it comes down and comes and comes and goes. Maybe they ain't blabber, baby, blabber, blabber, blabber. Maybe they ain't blabber, blabber, blabber. Maybe they are. Maybe they ain't blabber, blabber, blabber. 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 Maybe, maybe they, but they, maybe they, they, but they, 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 maybe they, 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 they,
Maybe I haven't lost my whole life. <laughs> I thought I could do this. I really thought I could prove to my detractors that I'm strong and capable. But maybe I was just trying to prove to myself that I'm not a fraud, that I'm not a phony, I'm not a liar. But if there's one thing I learned since I've been out here is that I am all of those things. I'm just an actor. I'm a fucking actor. I auditioned for this role. My name ain't even Austin Billings. It's Evan Parmalee. I have a stage name for my stage name. so hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. <laughs> My grandma always used to say, God never gives us more than we can handle. I think you might have overestimated me on this one. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry to my fans, to the people who trust me if I've led you astray. Amanda, I've been such a fucking asshole to you. I know I have. I'm so sorry. You've been so good to me. And I got one more bombshell for you, darling. It's a big one. A lie I have kept up for 10 years. Even off camera. I can't, I can't even say it. I don't even have an accent. My name's Evan Parmalee. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. There you go. You know, maybe the reason I can't get out of these woods is because Tex Montana has no will to survive. Tex Montana is a liar and a fraud and a fake. But Tex Montana dies today. I'm leaving all this shit behind me. Evan Parmalee is getting out of these woods. I'm coming home. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, fuck that, fuck that, forget I said that shit, oh my god. What was I fucking thinking? I'm nobody if I'm not Tex Montana. No, 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 fuck that shit. No, no, Amanda, don't you even fucking think about telling anybody what I just said. You know what, fuck that, I'm just going to delete that later. Tex Montana will survive. Tex is going to get out of these woods. Oh, I'm woozy. Whew. All right. Tex Montana is going to get out of here. I just got to take a, I just got to take a quick nap. Just a little nap. And then I'm going to get out of here. I just got to get, just, 
I just got to lay down for a minute. Whew. And then we're going to go home. We're going to go home, Texas. Oh. Whew.